Yo, what up guys? Coach Daniel here. Um, this video is more diving into the training that we're actually doing. So you'll see Monday um, starting this kind of newer cycle that we're going to be on progressing till uh, we can get back in the gym. So make sure you go watch that other video. I detail a lot of d updates on um, when we can get back into the gym and um, some stuff for training. There's that in there also. Very important video. Please go watch that one first. Please go watch that one first. Very important stuff. Um, okay, so to kick things off for this next cycle, um, we're going to be prog doing progressive things. So each week it'll be a repeated piece in certain parts of the day. So one day might have three different pieces. You'll see one of those pieces repeat each week because we're working on progressing and building mastery under that thing that is being developed. So whether it's an energy system piece, so like a distance run that we're trying to develop, um, it'll repeat in some fashion. Or if it's some skill work that's going to repeat in some fashion each week. Or if it is some sprint work or some strength work, uh, those things you'll see repeat themselves. But again, uh, like I said in the other video, five days a week will be brand new stuff that you haven't seen prior to that last week and um it'll still be uh thoughtful energy system development making sure our bodies are healthy and moving properly um and 100 percent, absolutely this last cycle has gotten us better i use myself as a uh um a test dummy on it and just to make sure i went through everything that you guys went through also um brand new stuff there we haven't uh, i've never dove deep into doing at-home training for people without equipment so it was a, a fun experiment for myself to develop and uh, to take part in as well um, that's not my kind of workouts uh, I really love the barbell obviously um, that's where I got my start and upbringing and um, I love all things weightlifting and powerlifting but um, I do understand this body weight development stuff that is so critical for our system. Um, and I'm not just saying that because we're stuck at home. It is. Uh, we, we've seen that kind of stuff being thrown into our warm-ups and our programming prior to this. But now you're, you're seeing more of that um, since we're at home. So take that opportunity for what it is. It's absolutely a time that we can get better 100%. And it is also quality work for our bodies. Um, I've said this a couple times Every day, we should not be ending up on the floor gasping for air. Uh, we're not doing ourselves a service if that is what our workouts are doing to us all the time. Uh, a couple times a week that could happen, but not every day. Um, you should be able to build progressive quality, um, work on your breathing, work on your mechanics, work on your technique. We want this to be a lifestyle thing. We want to get better and not... Uh, add more stress on our bodies <clears throat> and pound them into the ground and when we're old we're not able to walk and move and lift and twist and bend and do all those cool things that are really important that we don't want to think about now but we're all heading that direction anyway right time is on us so um things you'll see progressive uh this this coming cycle is going to be a ruck uh, that's a full body amazing workout that we can take this opportunity to get outside and go handle some business. Um, you're going to see some coaching tips on that starting tomorrow. So make sure you check our Facebook and Instagram stories um, for more. Coach Peter dove into that starting tomorrow. And then um, we have sprint work that we're going to progress each week. We have distance running that we're going to progress each week. Also within those, there are options to use the bike if you have a bike. Um, or you can contact someone if you need help adjusting. Contact your coach that's in your group, or you can email me directly or DM me. Um, also, uh, squats and push-ups. You're going to see those in a tempo fashion, and we are doing some interesting things with the push-ups for sure um, that are going to make us a lot better at those two things. Those are great full-body movements that we can um, pair together and hit the full body, I'm saying. Um, and we're going to be doing some tempo stuff. So it's a great, amazing way to build squat strength and mechanics stuff. So dive into that. It'll be fun. And you'll see how challenging it is come tomorrow um, or when it comes up. Also, skills. 
Uh, we're gonna develop handstand push-ups, pistols, and L-sits um, in this cycle. Those are all amazing movements for gymnastics stuff. Um, and there will also be scales for people who don't have that goal in mind that want to work on other things. Uh, you'll still be able to work on those things. Remember, skills are great times to dive into the technical side of things and focus on not necessarily getting out of breath, but holding positions and our technique and all those things. So again, five days a week, we're working on di different energy systems. You're going to see different pieces. You're going to see some of the same repeating things. And um, there are a few tests in there. It's not necessarily a test week, but it is kind of a little bit of a test phase. So there's going to be some tests in there. You'll see they'll be noted if they're a test or not. Um, okay, this is uh, the programming. It's built to be enough. What you see on Sugar Watt is built to be enough. We don't need to add a whole bunch of 60-minute other workouts to it. Uh, you, then you're hitting into that uh, burying yourself into the ground mentality. And I know some of us want to suffer just to suffer because we feel like that's the success of it all. But I'm going to challenge you to change your mindset on that. If you dive into this programming five days a week and attack it the way it's meant to be written um, with, it, with that in mind, and you do it five days a week, you're going to get everything you want out of it. Trust me. Um, but if you do need added work, um, I myself have been throwing in the bar sometimes after I do some of the at-home stuff that you guys have been doing because I have access to it. Um, if you do not have access to it, don't let that bum you out. What you do have access to is enough. Um, the only reason I'm adding barbell stuff is for my own personal goals. And so if we don't have that, um, what can you do? Control the controllables. That's what you can do for sure. Um, but there's optional bar work coming in. You'll see it starting this week. Um, you'll see it in place on certain days. It won't be every single day. And then it also makes sense with that, everything else that's happening. So if you attack the programming five days a week, you can support it a little bit with this barbell stuff. But um, make sure you're eating and sleeping and get enough food and all that if you're going to attack the barbell stuff because you're going to need that extra energy for sure. If you're finding a lot of stress in your life right now and it's, things are tough, I wouldn't add the barbell stuff. You're just going to bear yourself too much. So you need to be on top of your recovery game. You need to have goals of either competing or wanting to get uh, better in a sport or maybe you have some competitive goals elsewhere. This is when you dive into the extra work. It's not if you're just working on general physical preparedness, which is 99% of our population. Um, so keep that in mind that you don't need extra work just because you see it on there. So um, another thing you'll see, uh, three days a week, there's going to be that self-care work continuing. I challenge you, if you haven't done it before, to dive into it. It may be looking silly on paper, but if you go through it and you do it, um, you'll see some major, major changes. Breath work does tremendous stuff for our entire body in all types of ways. Um, it helps calm. It helps regulate our nervous system. It helps calm you down. It could help you go to sleep. It could help you rev up. It could take the place of coffee. It can do so much. And we all um, were never taught how to breathe properly. And breath work alone can help you manage a bunch of hormonal responses and and um, help you breathe better, help your training better, your recovery better, your quiet time, all those things. Um, also, uh, you'll see cool downs, a, diff a couple, couple different cool down modalities. There's going to be two days a week of a yoga cool down option on the runs. And then you have another two days a week of like a flow cool down um, coming to you from Active Life, which is a great chiropractic uh, business out there that helps CrossFitters do a bunch of cool things. Um, but they also do one-on-one -on -one work and they're pretty big in our industry. So they put out these videos that are already pre-made and nice that work with the days that we're going to support them in. So follow those also if you want that extra work. It's there. You've got breath work stuff. You have some mindset journaling stuff you could take advantage of. We've got the book club. You've got uh, quality work two days a week of extra work, and then you've got yoga work a couple extra days a week, the optional bar stuff. So hopefully the options are there, and we're covering all of your bases um, for this synergistic effect of what we understand to be so important, which is this holism approach, um, strengthening our minds, bodies, and spirits. We do that through happiness, diet, movement, and quiet time. Without one of those, the rest suffer. Uh, 
Um, so remember, it's all this synergistic effect. Reach out if you have questions. Please go watch that other video if you haven't yet. Um, head first into the training, guys. Enjoy your Monday. It's a great time to recommit yourself. If you've fallen off track, start again tomorrow.